name is Jessica Gamble, but I like to go by Jess. And I'm 25 years old, and I am an introvert, and I have anxiety, and I'm trying to figure out how to be an adult. Five years in, and I still don't have a dang clue, but I decided... that I would document the last five years of my, why am I sounding like I'm gonna like, this is gonna be the end of my life or something. Okay, like, Lord, please, look, please. Oh, I'm not trying to say, but <laughs> I decided I wanted to document the last five years of me being in my 20s because honestly, if I look back on my 20s, I, on, I always feel like, and I know a lot of people feel like this. Well, I don't even know if a lot of people feel like this, but I know I feel like this. Um, I wish I would have documented, I would have loved to see like how I was when I turned 20. Like I have memories of it, but it would have just been nice to see my 20s to 25. Okay, my phone is ringing. One sec. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to document the last five years of me in my 20s for, selfishly, for me, because I want to be able to look back on these years and laugh at myself, hopefully, when I'm 30 and I'm rich and I'm thriving and I'm happy and I'm financially free and I have a walk-in closet, which is my dream, and I've traveled the world in a walk-in closet with a bunch of clothes that I really love and I have a business started and my life figured out. That's my goal. Um, but <laughs> yeah, uh, no kids. I'm probably at that point deciding that, okay, now is the point where I would like to have a kid or try. We shall see. But anyway, so I just wanted to dock it. And then also I felt like I mean, I know I always watch a lot of videos on YouTube of people giving advice about their 20s, and I feel like that's a very common thing, and a lot of us 20-year-olds are really just trying to figure it out. I'm pretty sure probably when you're 30, you're probably trying to figure it out. Maybe you're just trying to figure it out your whole life. But I just felt like, you know, it would be great also for a lot of people who are in their 20s or maybe who are not in their 20s yet, but are or want to know how it's like to be in their 20s from just, you know have a perspective a point of view so in this new series that I promise okay I'm not gonna promise you but I I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna stop again because I tend to do a lot of series where I start and then I don't finish this one I'm really passionate in and also I don't feel like it's something that I have to try really much because it's just my life and I'm just documenting and I want it to be super casual and realistic and yeah so um that's that um it's gonna be a mess um and yeah so welcome to the new series enjoy the next five years with me and hopefully everything that I said that I wanted to get done by the time I'm 30 is that is done and if it's not then I guess I'll just show you guys the reality of life and the fact that life and the plan your plans in life and your expectations don't always go according to plan and stuff. Okay, why am I, I'm, I'm literally supposed to be leaving soon. So, uh, for the, so for the start of, so these series will, I don't really know how this is gonna go, so we're just gonna wing it for right now, okay? So currently, at the moment, I am on the journey of, number one, starting to get out more by myself and do more things by myself because I have a boyfriend and I've been in a long-term relationship for about eight years now. And we just moved in together last year. And I feel like a lot of the time that we've been together, moved in together, we've spent a lot of time together, obviously, because we're living together. 
So I just feel like, and also because of the pandemic, because also I have to say within our relationship, we've been, we're very independent people. So we like to give each other our space and do our own things. But because of the pandemic, obviously I didn't want to go anywhere just to be safe and everything like that. But I am safe now. I've done everything that I could do, took all the precautions to make sure that I am safe and I feel comfortable now to go out into the world. And I'm going to start doing that. So I'm going to start going and doing things by myself to spend more time by myself and, and because it's much needed for my growth and also it's much needed, it's great for the relationship that we, you know, keep, continue our own identities and better ourselves independently. So when we come together... We're just an amazing dynamic duo. So, um, so that's one thing. I want to start doing more stuff by myself. And number two, I want to make some new friends. I have to say that I don't have many friends. I, if anything, I, 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 I don't even know where I stand with my friends right now. Like, I, I had one friend... I'm pretty much like friendless to be honest <laughs> like I'll just say that although if you're watching this and you're my friend like not to say that we're not friends but I'm talking about like a friend that I actually see that I talk to that I have somebody to call up and say hey let's go out I don't have anyone right now that I feel like I I feel as is that I could call as a friend that I'm proud to say is my friend I don't know so I don't really have any friends, to be honest. If I'm being honest with myself, yeah, you're, you don't have friends, Jess. Just admit it. It's okay. There's a lot of people who don't. So no, I don't really have friends that live in state. Like I have one friend that lives out of state. Okay, I just don't have friends. By the But right, yeah. Anyways, tangible friends. Friends that I can call up currently right now and go out with. So I am going to also start getting out more so I can be exposed to different people so I can hopefully connect with more people like me similar to me or not you know that I find that I can be friend <laughs> so today and act so actually I decided so today is gonna be the first day that I actually do both of those things and that is going to be in the form of me going to a Zumba class which I'm wasting a lot of time right now because I'm supposed to be getting ready. So today I'm going to go to a Zumba class. Zumba has been something that I've really enjoyed doing in the past. Zumba is like a workout thing where you dance and you work out and it's a great thing. I used to do it a lot when I was in college um, and then I stopped. So and then that's also where I found a lot of, you know, like it was a lot of, you know, obviously girls and it was a good time to connect and be around other girls and stuff. So I... So I, um, yeah, I decided, I saw a Zoom class, and I'm going to be going to that today, um, and hopefully it all goes well, and, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, but really, though, I need to start getting ready. Currently, um, my hair looks crazy right now. Tomorrow I'm going to wash it again and stuff like that. That doesn't really matter. These videos are not going to be necessarily about hair. You may see me do my hair every now and then, but I'm not going to really be talking much about hair. It's going to be more about life. But I do need to wash my hair. My it, I'm definitely due for a wash day, but I'm, I don't feel like obviously I don't have time to do my hair right now. Plus, I'm about to go work out, so my hair is going to be already sweaty. I mean, you know, I'm going to be sweaty, whatever, so... I'm just gonna put this hat on that's what I'm gonna do put this hat on and then I'm going to do two little things I'm just gonna get ready right now and then I'll see you when I'm finished all right I'm ready I totally just realized that I had something in my in my tooth the whole time but anyways okay so I'm about to go I have to admit I am kind of nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I guess because I haven't done this in a while. So it's just like obviously you're going to be nervous about something you haven't done. Um, but yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully it's not a flop. And I will. <laughs> yeah, I have my mask. I'm ready to go. And uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting experience. 
my first time getting out and being around other people and actually doing something outside of my norm, anti-social norm. Let's go! <laughs> okay, I'm back. I uh, wasn't able to get any footage, obviously, because I didn't want to just have a camera out on my first time there. Um, so, sorry, I don't have a clip of that, but it was good. It was so fun. I missed Zumba class. I loved you guys in the water, I don't know if you know, but I really enjoy dancing. And that's been, like, that's why I like Zumba, because, you know, you get to dance, but you also get a workout in, so it's just perfect. And yeah, so uh, the class wasn't too big. There was probably like max maybe 10 people, which was good because obviously, you know, I, like, again, I'm protected and safe, but I still want to be, I still feel weird being around a lot of people. So it was a really good experience. I'm really glad I went. I didn't say, um, <laughs> I didn't even really talk to anyone, which I was telling myself in the during the whole time, like, say hi, you're trying to start a conversation with somebody, but I didn't. But it was just the first day, you know, like, I'm not pressuring myself to full on try to find a friend or talk to everyone, right? But I do need to do that because when I first went in the room, I kind of said I was going to try to say hi, introduce myself, but I didn't really do that. I mean, the teacher, I mean, the instructor told us to introduce ourselves. Obviously, but I didn't really talk amongst people that were around me, even though I kind of wanted to. But also, I had a mask on, and I don't know, the overthinker. So, I guess next time I'll challenge myself to. But I also don't want it to be forced, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like you do want to talk to people, but you don't want it to be forced. So, I'm just going with the flow for right now. I'm not over there obsessed trying to get a friend on the first day. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I just have a nice time at Zumba class, you know? Um, but yeah, so, what am I about to do now? I'm about to take a shower now. Um, and then I'm going to eat. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to be finished for the, for the night. Um, I guess I'll talk to you guys. I wanted to start this vlog, adulting vlog session thing, whatever I'm going to call it, on... I wanted to start it tonight. Well, originally I was going to just start it tomorrow and just film for the whole day and to take you guys throughout the day. But I wanted to get this on on the clip. I wanted to add this in because this is a big moment for me. My first time actually going out and starting what I wanted to do. So, I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning and we'll officially start the full day. This is not adult like clearly I'm still a child at heart but okay <sighs> about to get ready I really don't feel like it I'm really actually also very upset because my dog has not been listening lately She's going through her like little teenage preteen stage and she's being super rebellious. <sighs> oh my, my boobs look like they're about to, um, you know how when your boobs start getting a little bigger, you know that time of the month is going to be coming soon. Maybe that's why I've been more irritable than usual. I've been feeling myself being more irritated and less patient for the past couple of days. What's today's date? My period usually comes like somewhere in the 20s. And yeah, we're close to there, so. And then I just saw my boobs look like they getting a little, you know. Okay. Self reminder, future dress, future 26 year old dress. Get some workout gear. It'll motivate you more to work out, okay? Because this girl is not gonna cut it. Oh my gosh, my hair is so cray cray right now. I changed my mind. I'm going to wear some different pants.
This is not cutting it. I'm not motivated. Okay, hold on. I just want to throw up. This looks disgusting. I... Ugh. Ew. Yeah, I totally wasn't recording anything I just said, but I was just complaining about how much of a boy I look, and if I was a guy at the gym, I wouldn't even approach my own self because I fit in with the guys, and I just look very gross. And 26-year-old Jess, get you some more gym. You need to get you some more gym stuff so you can feel good. Because when you feel good, no, when you look good, you feel good. And I look like I want to barf all over myself and barf again. <laughs> like, what is, what is this? Where is the, this looks like full guy status, ignoring my dirty, like, where is the shape? Ugh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to the gym. Okay, so besides going to Zumba class, working out, making new friends and all that, this was actually was really close to my birthday. I think this was my birthday month and I also made a list of 26 things that I wanted to do by the time I turned 26. Let me tell you now, I did not complete everything, but I did film little clips of it and as you can see, some of it include I really needed to um clean more organize my life so you'll see me cleaning and organizing also right here as you can see i needed to floss i know that that was on my list i needed to floss more because i i suck at flossing so that's one thing another thing another thing is oh another thing is i hadn't been posting at all on my instagram um, and I really decided that I really wanted to like hop on. This is when Reels, you know, Instagram Reels had just started. And yeah, it was the beginning of the Instagram Reels. And I was like, let me hop on and, you know, make it into, make it fun for me and do something fun for my birthday. Could do a whole look and everything. So I'm sure if you guys follow me, you guys remember this video that I did. And this was kind of like my, yeah, like I said, my goal was like, I was like, I need to really start posting more on my Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah, so I spent so much time creating this dang video. Um, yeah, it actually turned out really cute. I love the result, but it sucked because... I didn't even go anywhere. <laughs> I did all that for nothing. I literally think I went to the gym after that. I don't know. But it was cute. The video turned out cute. So I was happy and proud of myself that I accomplished that. Next thing is I needed to really get better at going to the doctor. I needed to go to the gynecologist. Actually, I think I was a little concerned about something around my boobage area and I really needed to get it checked so out. It's something that I was a little um, concerned about and uh, also I needed to get my my yearly checkup. I think maybe I was due for a pap smear. I'm not sure. This is TMI. I mean, not that it matters. I mean, we're adults here, right? Okay, but yeah, so. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I have several things to check. Actually, I need to make a list of the things that I want her to check. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm so nervous. Lord, please let everything be okay with me. Ah, being, being 20 is so. You just get older and you have to worry about boob, your boob, checking your boobs. You have to worry about your cervix. You have to worry about so much. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Lord, please let me be okay. Okay. Gosh. I'm in full tire here. Can't see down there. And then, this is like the worst part when you just have to sit and wait for the doctor to come in. It's just the the waiting is agonizing. Uh, okay. You got this. You can do it. You're a big girl. Okay. 
Okay, I'm back. I made it. I survived. I'm a big girl now. I even got blood work done, okay? And I didn't even eat my mommy or my boyfriend. <laughs> so I actually am okay. All of my concerns that I was feeling had to do with my boobs and my pelvic area because of the after the accident. Yeah, so I had a, an amazing doctor. I'm going to have to keep this lady because she was amazing. She answered all my questions. I asked her plenty. She informed me on the complex but beautiful body of a woman and um, why I experienced the things that I experienced. And I learned a lot and I feel really, really good. So if you need to go to the doctor or you need to go to the OBGYN, you just need to go, okay? Because it's really important and we're adults as we get older we take care of ourselves and you know it's just important i know it's scary but i'm so happy i did it i really didn't want to do it i was so this close to canceling and i already canceled once this is my second time and i was like you know what? i'm just gonna go because if anything is wrong with me you know lord forbid i will want to know i will rather know earlier so you know obviously i just have a grandmother who's going through um leukemia right now so just seeing her journey and she's been telling me how important it is to go to the doctor and making sure you you check in on yourself because you want to be healthy but you also want to just know you don't you want to just be on top of what's going on in your body sooner before later you know so that's the moral of the story and now i'm about to do another thing that is important for me to do as an adult is is budgeting and when it comes to budgeting, I mean going to a thrift store to get clothes instead of going to buy expensive clothes, which you can still do. I think it's all about balance. So it's the winter time. I'm probably going to be doing some winter shopping soon. But I've learned, thankfully, from the pandemic last year and just the big awareness of thrifting and the benefits of it. Um, I do want to check here first and go through some things and see. I like to look at Goodwill or thrifty stores first to see what I can find. And then with that, I can figure out what I actually need and want to buy like for full price and stuff like that and brand new. Just because I feel like it's better that way. And I also like getting unique pieces. So that's what I'll be doing. And then after that, I'm going to the grocery store. So nice full day of adulting. Great. Knocking it all out. <sighs> feels good i didn't want to do it at first i was very anxious but now that i'm doing it it feels really nice so you just gotta start that's the hardest part honestly when they say starting is the hardest part it really is okay i'm gonna stop because somebody's next to me and they probably know that i'm talking on the phone no that's awkward but that's also part of being an adult understanding that sometimes it's going to be awkward and you know you just got to play it off i'm not even gonna look at the person when i walk out the car hmm. I was there for a long time it was honestly I didn't get that much stuff but I got some things and now I'm at the grocery store so I'm gonna do some grocery shopping and it's already 3 39 so I thought I was gonna be working out today but I don't even know because I still haven't edited the video to post today so we'll we'll see we'll see another random thing is I really decided that I wasn't eating enough greens in my diet I, I just needed to eat more salads it's funny because i'm vegan and most people assume just because i'm vegan all i eat is salad but i actually rarely eat salad like if ever i incorporate a lot of vegetables into my meals but i never just eat salad so salads are a great way to get your, your leafy greens and greens are amazing for you very nutritious nutritious so yeah, I kind of just was like, let me start eating more salads. And this is kind of like a weird combination, but I wanted to add, I like beans. So I like to add that on top for some protein. And then I like the fact that it has some oranges, you know, some fruit on the side. Very weird combination, but A is what I like. But you can put whatever you want on top of it. I have a bunch of allergies and other stuff, so it's just easy for me to do that. Okay, so also... Another thing I decided, uh, that was weird, weird clip. Okay, but yeah, another thing I really put on my to-do list was to fold my freaking clothes. Let me tell you, I am that person. I am ashamed to say 
I am that person that lets their laundry pile up into a huge pile. And then when I finally get the get the patience to wash my clothes, then you will have a huge pile uh, of clothes that need to be folded that sit and accumulate for... I'm not going to tell you for how long, <laughs> but just know it's 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 way too long. So, uh yeah, I need to get better. I, I want to get better at handling my laundry quickly and efficiently and not waiting until it piles up and yeah. Um oh, more cleaning. Um, I want to, yeah, get better at, I, I really have been wanting to, uh, mop. I want to get better at mopping regularly because the thought of how much dirty, how dirty your floors can get and how I don't mop them often makes me cringe. Uh, another thing is I was walking my uh dog me and my boyfriend's dog and um somebody did not pick up their poop a neighbor their dog poop and i accidentally stepped on it while i was running around with my dog so um i kind of like set these shoes out on the balcony and i left them there and totally forgot about them so i was like hey let me just add that to the list let me just get stuff done you know things that i've been avoiding and putting off let me get it done and also go into the my, my new age of being 26 with handling my business and not putting things off so it can be like a clean slate you feels so there you can see my dirty poop covered shoes very appealing but i got it done another boring thing is these are just a bunch of boring chores but another boring thing is that are important though when you're an adult for your sanity okay um laundry actually washing my clothes yeah needed to get that done as well um and then i think this may be my last clip uh yoga um i used to do yoga so often and then i kind of just stopped so i was slacking so i decided that this may have been my first time doing yoga in like months maybe um i decided that i really need to start doing yoga because yoga I i'm a huge overthinker i live in my mind it's actually very draining sometimes my mind does not stop um you know i, I struggled a lot with anxiety as we all have some form of it, but like even before anxiety was like a thing, like you know I was always a worry as a child, worrier as a child, and all that stuff. So yoga I really liked because it sl helped me slow down and my mind slowed down, and it brought me to being present. And I, excuse me, and I really enjoyed the feeling of like slowing down and being present and not overthinking and being in my head you know so and then I like the fact that you know it also strengthens you and you get flexible and all that stuff like that so yeah I was just like you know what I want to I want to bring all of this into my new age of becoming 26 there was a whole bunch of other things that I needed to get done which I think I actually did I just didn't include a lot of this in this video I recorded a lot of things on my Patreon, but yeah, unfortunately I can't post any of that because, like I said, people are paying for that. So, um, I just had to split the clips, just put out what I could. Long story short though, it's funny because this is kind of the closing to all of the clips that I've had um, accumulated that I was just in my drive that I was supposed to edit and I mean post that I never did and um it's it's crazy to look back on where I was earlier this year um because I have to say that those two things that I <clears throat> said in the beginning of the video that I wanted to accomplish 
I have. And I'm, I, wow, I have. And it's so crazy. It's just so fulfilling. It's such a great feeling to know, like, when you grow, you, you evolve, and you, like, accomplish your goals, and you just change for the better you know you just blossom you accomplish your goals you get stuff done you just grow you grow up and it's so growing up is so great when you're doing it in the way that you want to um and you're like evolving i'm trying to find the other words in this but you know what i mean (sighs) you're just improving and that's what life is about um, it's not easy when the tough times come. It really isn't. And, uh, man, I had so many tough times in the beginning of this year and for a while, as you guys know, and it just feels, you know, I'm, I'm, I still have things that I could work on, like my finances, my savings and all that stuff. That's, that's like, who I need to really just tackle that. But other than that, um, I'm really proud of, I'm proud of you, Jess. I'm so proud of you, Jess. Oh, gosh. I'm going to get emotional. (laughs) No, but now I can finally, as we close to the past, Jess, we can transition finally to the present, Jess. Hey, that's, that's me. (laughs) um and that will be my next video and i will start off the present just with finally letting you guys know more about my job and kind of tell you guys the story of how it low-key changed my whole life and this is just the beginning and it's crazy but I'll see you guys in the next video to talk about that. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a part of the journey. Thank you, as always, for being patient with me and understanding. And and I hope everything's going well in your life as well. And if not, I hope that you can look at me as a person who's been through a lot of ups and downs. And I know, obviously, like my situation could be worse and everything like that. But just hope that you know that it's, I can show you that it's normal and that things will get better. Much love and see you in my next video. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a good one.